And for the last one there, number 14, this is what we call standard form. And standard form looks like what's in front of you. All right, so if you go back and look at your notes, ax plus by equals c. Unfortunately, in standard form, you don't have anything. You don't have the slope, you don't have the y-intercept, you don't have the x-intercept. So with that equation, I want to go ahead and rearrange it, solve it for y, to get it into uh, general form like I have up here on the previous one. Because then that will give me my slope, and then that will give me the uh, y-intercept as well. So I want to solve for y. So just like we've been doing, get y by itself by subtracting 6x. Those are not like terms right there, so I'll just go ahead and leave them separate. Still want to get y by itself, so I want to divide by negative 4. Everything gets divided by negative 4. And y equals, okay, negative 6 divided by negative 4. Two negatives make a positive. Reduce it by 2. We get 3 halves x. 18 divided by negative 4. Reduce that by 2 get negative 9 halves. So what we just found then was the slope to be 3 halves. And we found the y-intercept pretty easily to be negative 9 halves, or we could write it as an, in, uh, as an order pair. Now, the x-intercept, unfortunately, again, we have to plug in and do a little bit of work. I'm going to go back to the very original and say, hey, if I set y to 0, that finds me the x-intercept. That gives me x to be then 3. So 3 is the x-intercept, or we can write it as 3 comma 0. With any of these forms from 12, 13, and 14, they're the exact same idea, all right, to find...